How to show up as high value when you're telling your partner that you are living with an STI. Hello, my name is Chengi and you, my precious one, are my world. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And do not forget to subscribe, like if you like this video, leave a comment and hit that notification bell so that you're updated every single time I upload a video because you know it's going to be happening up in here, okay? I would like to thank letsgetchecked.com for sponsoring this video. I'm really very excited to discuss this because the issue that we're having is I had a call from a lady who uh, was asking me, how do I show up as high value whilst revealing to the man I'm dating or the man that I'm seeing that I actually have an STI that can't be cured? And so um, this wasn't the first call. This wasn't the first interaction I'd had. I'd met with women who have been diagnosed with HIV and having a hard time coming to terms with how do they communicate. They're young, they're beautiful, they're smart, they've got so much to offer, but how do they communicate this to a new partner? And I will be telling you exactly what to do, the mindset that you need to have, and the things that you can and should say and the support that you need in order to do it. But all I can tell you at this point is that the most important thing is to be high value because you can't communicate anything in a high value way if you're not high value. You have to know your worth. You've got to know that your worth is not determined by what you have carried in your system. And a lot of people are carrying a lot of diseases, a lot of viruses, a lot of things. Um, and totally unaware of it. And that is the most dangerous part to all of this in terms of the equation. So when let's get checkcom got in touch with me, I was like, this is a perfect opportunity for me to really begin to speak to those of you angels who have been smart enough to get tested, know that you are living with something or can have actually been cured from something and a little bit wise. Because the truth about being high value is looking after yourself. High valueness is about high self-esteem, high worth, and high status. You can't build up your self-esteem if you don't self-care, if you don't care how your body is doing, how your mind is doing, you cannot be high value. And so when she came to me and all these women that have come to me, what they don't realize is the virtue and by virtue of them even being checked and taking that step to ensure their health and well-being, that is what really speaks of your value. Now the issue is not whether or not he can see it. It's whether you can see it. You can't sell what you don't have. And so I started to do some research and started to look at the, the whole thing in general. And I realized that there's some things that we do need to address, ladies. Many of us watching this video in the US, in the UK, in Africa, haven't been responsible enough to even get checked. And this is really what I would love to really sink in with you. But then I started to ask myself, why is it that 51% of people who are sexually active haven't been tested? Well, the research says they don't want to talk about sex with their doctor, but I'm sure it's also a plethora of things. There's a lot of shame and stigmatization attached to having a positive result when it comes to an STI. And some of us would rather not know than have a positive and have to actually respond and do something about it. But the thing is, if you don't do something about it or even get checked, you run the risk of hurting and harming your health more permanently. You run the risk of cancer. You run the risk of infertility. And 24,000 women a year are rendered infertile because of an STI that could have been dealt with with a simple antibiotic had they been willing to go and get tested. Now, I will tell you for a fact that every time I ended a relationship before I took my celibacy journey, I would get tested. And no, it wasn't the most wonderful experience. It wasn't a great experience, but it was an experience that was important for me to check myself as I would think about the way forward. And eventually I decided to take my celibacy journey. But it wasn't just because of that, it was a good opportunity for me to stop and think, okay, how do I want to be and how do I want to show up in my relationships in the world and for myself, you know? So for me, it's really important that we realize that uh, it says here in my research that over 1 million 
people a sexually, get a sexually transmitted disease every day, infection every single day worldwide. That means that the man that you're probably even speaking to has probably not been checked or they've been checked and don't disclose, okay? So we have to deal with the fact that dating, relationships, and sex is thing, are things that we all have to understand come hand in hand. They come as a package, a package that we would probably, you know, would like to control better. But the reality is we're all on different paths and we're all taking different journeys. But what is important is that you are safe for yourself and they're able to keep other people safe by being completely responsible. So when Let's Get Checked got in touch with me and told me about their service, I was elated because I knew that they would be the reason why probably more people than are right now would actually opt to be tested. You know, um, more people would choose to be tested because you can do it in the privacy of your own home. You don't have to go to a doctor, to a clinic. Literally, I ordered my test, but because I've already been tested for STIs um, and I've been celibate a while, I didn't. I thought I'd better use my um, my credits and get something to do with homo, female hormone testing. So, um, vitamin testing, anything to do with female well-being, you can get tested. I know here in England quite a lot of money quite, and trying to get the NHS to do this testing is like a waste of time because they just don't have the time and it gets really really costly um, so I thought I'm gonna try to use a service in this way and so I got some hormone testing kits um, for my thyroid for my vitamins so again I don't have to wait on a waiting list or I don't have to go and spend tons and tons and tons of pounds trying to get private testing because Hormone testing is a whole different video, and maybe we'll do that some other time, but it's really crucial to your well-being. So if you're like, okay, I've been tested, but I'd really like to get a grip on my hormones, perfect, okay. So how it works is, before we go into actually what to say, how it works is you will receive a package in the post, you will go online, um, order the test that you want, pay for them, receive the package in the post, and the packaging comes a little bit like this and you will register yourself online or download the app and you will get everything you need in the actual kit. You will get the vials, the swabs, the instructions in the kit and you will literally do that, finish it off, stick it in the bag, the postal posting free bag that is inside this box in the post. Two to three days later, Bob's your uncles, Fanny's your aunt, you have your results two to five days. I know in the UK it takes two weeks to get your results and I know in the US I don't know how long it takes or how much it costs but I'm assured that this is the most efficient and cost effective way. Right so basically once you get your results you will receive a phone call from a medical practitioner somebody who's qualified to say to you okay your test results came this way and that way and this is what we can prescribe and guess what you don't have to take it to your doctor to get a prescription they will send you a prescription so all you have to do is literally you can keep this whole process private personal to you get the results that you need get the support that you need and be directed to the centers that can help you if you're if they found that perhaps you have HIV or herpes or something that you might need more support over time that just one pill can't you know fix you know and you will get all the support the direction the right centers and everything is quick sharp and your health is in your hands so the good news is I have a discount code for every single one of you who are going to get tested because you love yourself and that's what girls who love themselves do so you get 20% off when you use my discount code which is in the link in the description box below. So the link to my personal link where you can then use your discount code is in the description link below. So use it today, click on it, use it, order your tests, and let's start the journey to truly being high value because you can't fake it. Okay, so I believe I have said everything that you probably need to know about how letsgetcheck.com works. Now, how do you tell him? How do you sit across a table from this guy that you just 
absolutely adore a man that you think, oh my God, oh my God, how do I tell him? When do I tell him and what words do I say? Now, what really matters, and I want you to understand this more than anything else, because this is the work I do with a lot of you. Those of you who follow me on my channel know that I do a lot of this work with you. It's always about the place that you're coming from rather than what it is you are actually saying. Okay, we're going to talk about what to say, but it's really the place from which you're coming from. It's the area of my life, and I want you to know that you are more than your diagnosis. You are way more than that, and people want companionship and we want to be respected and cherished and a man wants to be loved too and honored and you know have a woman who cares about him and all of that matters and a sexual partner that he can enjoy and your diagnosis doesn't mean that none of those things are possible. It just means that you might have to be careful. It might mean that he has to understand when you're popping a pill what that means. Um, you know, you're no different from if you have to take da daily medication, you're no different from a diabetic. You're no different from somebody who has high blood pressure and has to take daily medication. You're no different, okay? And really, it's about educating yourself and being very clear. I have friends and family who live with HIV, are married, date, have amazing lives, and disclose, okay? It's really not as frightening as it may seem. Now, if a guy, in the case of this particular girl who disclosed and he decided that he didn't want to pursue the relationship as a result, the reality is he never really came to the table with the desire to pursue the relationship. He came to the table for what he could get. And when he realized that there was some kind of price in his head, and you know, let's face it, there is ignorance, there's stigmatization, there are people who just don't know. Um, I ever heard of, you know, people getting violent, um, you know, and I know somebody who was personally abused physically um, when they disclosed. Um, I've heard of that, but that is the minority. It is not the majority. And these are personalities that already need help, right? This is not your average human being. And I know a friend of mine who's never been kicked out of bed. She's never been rejected, even though she's got HIV, never. No one's, no man has ever rejected her and she likes to go about, okay? She's not a friend, but she's somebody that I know. Um, you know, she's quite a free spirit, likes to sleep around, and no guy's ever said to her, okay, because you've disclosed that, we're not interested. So it's really about mindset. It's about what do you think of yourself? Because high value, uh, I was on a podcast recently and the, the, the interviewer said, you know, what does high value mean to you? And, and you know, what is the definition of high value? And I, was, and I said to her, it's high self-esteem, high self-worth, an ability to bring forth high status, right? Now, all of those things can only come from self-love, from having a high opinion of yourself, a healthy opinion of yourself, and a healthy mindset around your value, your worth, what you bring to the table. And what something is worth to you is not what is worth to me. Okay, so you know, we cannot force somebody to see our worth, but if we have it and we know it, then it's easier for us to show up as a woman who understands her worth, okay? So what this ring on my finger is worth to me is probably not worth to a person who doesn't love George, who doesn't love my fiance. It doesn't mean anything to them. To me, it means everything, okay? To them, they might be thinking, oh, I wonder how big the diamond is. They might be preoccupied with the way it looks or the size of it, but to me, it is a symbol of our love and it's a symbol of our commitment to one another. Worth, to what is worth to me and what is worth to her is different. So if somebody doesn't see your worth, it doesn't mean that you don't have worth or that you are of low value, it simply means that they don't see it. They haven't connected with you in that way. So interpreting that one rejection as men will reject me when I disclose um, is, is, is an error because that guy who did not see your worth in his totality rejected you and he may have rejected you because of the color of your hair. He may have rejected you because you refused to shag him on the first date. He may have rejected you because he may figure out we don't have enough chemistry and connection. But when you carry it like a leper, when you carry it like a 
this therefore makes me a leper, therefore I am not entitled to love, then that's the energy that you will communicate. Because ultimately words communicate spirit. That's all they do. And the words that we use, if they're not congruent with how we feel about ourselves and what we think of ourselves, then at the end of the day, you're going to lose. If you don't have a problem with it, I don't have a problem with it. If I've got a handle on it, I've got a handle on it. Now, obviously, if you've just received a diagnosis and this may be somebody that you've just met, it's wise to let them know maybe you've had a sexual encounter. Tell your, your previous sexual partners. Just text them. Let them know it is what it is. But if it's somebody that you haven't had intimacy with, then when do you tell them? You tell them when it feels right to you. But sooner rather than later. Right? So I wouldn't say, say it straight away on the first day get to know them get to build a connection see if there's even anything to pursue right not everybody in the world has to go around knowing your your health and your your life issues it's the same thing that i say to women they don't need to know your past and who abused you and who hurt your feelings okay it's not public information See if this person even meets your standards, if this person is even high value, if this person is even worthy of your time and attention, right? So that's what we're going to be doing on the first date. We want to make sure that we have that connection. Once we feel that the connection is there and the connection is real, then that is the point in which you will disclose, okay? Now, if you know that they might interpret it if, you know, don't leave it to date number three. After the first date, if you feel that, okay, we've got a connection here and this guy's really falling for me and I can tell and I'm really falling for him, second date or even on the third date or before we start to get kissy-kissy and touchy-touchy, listen, there's something that I need to say, speak to you about that might affect whether you want to continue with this relationship or not. Is this a good time? Right? He's probably going to say, sure, what is it that would make me not want to be with you? Well, I just need you to know that I'm living with HIV. I just want you to know that I'm living with herpes. I just want you to know that um, I currently have um, chlamydia. If, you know, things like that. Sometimes don't even have to mention them because they're cured and you can move on. But things that you are sort of living with and dealing with in that moment and in that present moment. That is the time when you can say, that's it, and say it matter of factly. Don't go into it, don't go into why it happened. Say it matter of factly and let them process. You know, if you've got any questions that you'd like to ask me, I'm here for you. If you decide that you have every right to decide that this is not the relationship you want and if that is your decision, I will support it and I'll be more than happy to be your friend. Let them feel that they have the right to not want to. And that's something that I say to women anyway about everything, right? And if they decide that they don't want to, it's not a reflection of you. It's a reflection of where they are, what they can handle. It doesn't make them a bad person. It just makes them who they are. And we all have a right to accept or not accept. But that shouldn't reflect on who you are as a person. So I certainly hope that this video was helpful. And again, do not forget to get tested in letsgetchecked.com. The link is in the description link below. Use it. Use the discount get checked, look after your health and well-being because that's what high-value girls do. And for you men as well, if you're watching, you may as well use it. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. In the meantime, take care of you. Love you lots.